Hi, this is Stadium Steve. Today we are reviewing the California Institute of Technology, more commonly known as Caltech, in Pasadena, California. And the first question is, why are we even here? Well, aside from the beautiful campus, um, Caltech is known as one of the hardest universities to get into in America. In 2024, it had an acceptance rate of only 2.7%. Okay, as we enter the campus here, um, some facts about Caltech. Um, it actually has a very, very small student body. It has approximately 1,000 undergrads as of 2022, and approximately 14 to 1,500 graduate students. Um, Caltech adheres to a really um, strict honor code. Uh, most of their tests are actually take home uh, because of this honor code. And also, a lot of it has to do with the, the um, surrounding area um, in California being very uh, expensive to live in, but about 95% of undergrads um, live on campus at Caltech. Okay, here we are in the main part of campus. Another couple facts of Caltech is that they do have, as of 2024, approximately 80 um, Nobel Prize winners, which makes it the, uh, the highest number of Nobelists per capita in America of any university. Caltech is also known for many scientific breakthroughs. And they are known for um, advances in space research, um, science, quantum physics, and seismology. When it comes to Caltech's space research department, um, Caltech also has a jet propulsion laboratory, um, which is owned by NASA, um, but operated through Caltech, which assists students in um, studying um, or uh, conducting space research. Okay, I had mentioned before how rigorous the admission um, program is here at Caltech. To give you an idea of, of how difficult it is to be accepted, in 2023, uh, Caltech received over 13,000 applications and only accepted 412 people, which was an acceptance rate of about 3%. Um, the next year, in 2024, they um, only accepted 315 applicants out of approximately 13,000 total. So um, you can see how difficult it is to get into this school. Um, you might be asking, what are some popular majors here? Caltech does offer 28 undergraduate majors. The most popular majors in the class of 2023 uh, were computer science, mechanical engineering, physics, and electrical engineering. You know, when it comes to graduate admissions, it, all, it is also highly competitive. Um, the most popular options for graduate studies are chemistry, physics, biology, electrical engineering, and chemical engineering. Uh, Caltech also offers joint degree programs um, in uh, bachelor's to master's and MD to PhD. Um, if a student elects to go to medical school from Caltech, there's a joint program with you with USC, UCLA, and the Kaiser Permanente School of Medicine, which offers joint MD PhD degrees. Um, the PhD work is done through Caltech, and the PhD will um, will be a Caltech degree, whereas their MD would be um, a degree through whatever school they're completing their medical education through. Okay, at the end of my previous um, slide, there were some um, images of the outside of the student center. I've said in other videos that uh, you can always determine a college campus or the how great a college campus is by the student center. Unfortunately, Caltech's student center is very, very small. Um, it only has essentially a snack bar, um, 
or a convenience store inside in a very, very small student store with not much in it. With that being said, um, the Caltech is known for its academics and not for the um, necessarily the student life on campus. So I would not hold that against them. Okay, I mentioned before that 95% of students or undergraduate students here live on campus. Here to the right and left of this are the uh, student housing facilities. Um, as you can tell, they're, they're not very glamorous, but I'm sure they are cheaper than living outside in Pasadena or in the LA area. Okay, one of my favorite TV shows, The Big Bang Theory, um, was set here on Caltech, or at least the four main characters um, were faculty members here at Caltech. Um, there to the left was the engineering department. Okay, and straight ahead is the applied physics department, which of course um, was where Sheldon Cooper worked in the, the TV show. Okay, straight ahead, um, that white dome building is the amphitheater here on campus. Okay, as we are leaving the main part of campus, this fountain here has a really unique name. Uh, it is called the Gene Pool. Okay, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about Caltech's athletic program. Um, all their athletic fields are located uh, about a block off of campus. Um, you know, they're not really well known for their athletics, partially because it is an academic institution, but they do play in NCAA Division Three, and are known as having some of the longest losing streaks um, in college history. Like I said, primarily because they're an academic institution. Okay, on the right, we just passed the gym where the men's and women's uh, basketball teams play. The men's basketball team is known as having a 207 game losing streak, and the women's basketball team is known as having a 50 game losing streak. Um, here we are facing the, uh, the baseball field with some students practicing, and the baseball team at one point was known as having a 228 game losing streak um, that lasted more than 10 years. At one point, Caltech did have a football team from 1973 to 1977, and they part, played part of their home schedule at the uh, Rose Bowl, which is nearby. Um, Caltech's mascot is called Bernoulli the Beaver, which is a really, really unique um, mascot name, named after Daniel Bernoulli, who, of course, is a world-renowned mathematician and physicist. Another unique feature about Caltech, as I had mentioned, they do have a space research um, department. Um, on campus here, you can see that there is a telescope. Um, this is part of the Spitzer Science Center, which is part of the Infrared Processing and Analysis Center, um, which is located on campus. And it provides data analysis um, for NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope. Okay, that completes our 
a review of the Caltech campus. Obviously, it's a beautiful, beautiful campus. Um, if you're lucky enough to be able to, to be admitted to this university, you should definitely go for it because it is one of the most prestigious universities in the country and has the hardest acceptance rate. So if you are uh, lucky enough to get in, go for it. Um, if you like this video, please follow me, or please like and subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, X, or TikTok. See you in the next one.